my son Taylor Russell Latin, who's a graduate of 2012 Gardner High. Um, bear with me, I didn't write anything down. I just wanted to come from the heart. I couldn't write anything down, nothing would come. So I figured, what's going to happen? You guys going to boo me off the stage? <laughs> I can do this. I do have a poem, though, that I want to, I did not write. I'm going to put my passcode in. All right. I debated about reading this to you. This is written by a grieving mom. And it was funny because I had saved it and it popped up two days ago and I felt like it was a sign. It's tough, okay? It's powerful. It's real, unfortunately. By the way, Taylor, by, and I know my son is right here next to me. He's my only child, my only, my only baby. I miss him dear, deeply. Okay, here we go. So death do us part. Hello. We are strangers, but I can't wait to get to know you. You seem so well put together, so in control. You're perfect for me. Now that we are introduced, I will become your friend. We will spend an increasingly amount of time together. Soon, I will become your best friend. We will then become lovers. Our desires and longing for each other will grow so strong that you won't believe we can live without each other. We will move in together. I will love you and you will love me so much that I will make you forget all your worries, your fears, and your concerns. We won't be able to spend any time apart at all, ever. I will be the most important thing in your life, like you wish you were to me, but by this time, I don't care about you anymore. I quit caring about you the minute I met you. I just wanted you to fall in love with me, and it worked. I made you feel safe and warm. You depended on me, and I laughed behind your back. You trusted me and I betrayed you. I stole everything you had right before your eyes and you didn't even see me. Oh, and by the way, I enjoyed every minute of it. By now you are completely dependent on me. You can't live without me and you can't live with me. I'm still here, though, watching you. I watch you lose sleep, lie, steal, cheat. You'll do anything for me. I don't even have to ask you anymore. You're just so obsessed. I'm not sure how long I'll stay with you. I suppose it's possible you'll leave me someday. I doubt it. Some people leave, but they never stay away long. They almost always come back. What can I say? I'm addictive. You will leave me when I decide you can. You see, it's not up to you. All of your decisions are being made by me. I am in control, not you. Didn't see that coming, did you? I mean, it was so easy for me and you. You never knew what hit you. I love it. I am so powerful. Listen, I'm moving on now, so I have to say goodbye. I won't miss you, because you'll be easily replaced. I won't love them either. Oh, sorry. But I have fun making them think I do. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you something. I've changed my mind. I decided to take you with me. Don't worry about saying goodbye to anyone. You won't have time. You may or may not feel it when we leave together. Depends on my mood that day. Whatever. It's not like I care. You never mattered to me anyway. Oh wait, I never officially introduced myself. Hello, my name's Heroin. Now look, I really didn't know if I wanted to read it. I know that's pretty tough and I know it's not hopeful. My son died of an overdose. 
And that was his demon. That was what he was fighting. You know, he died in 2016. And I'm just, I'm so happy that we are doing so much now to try to make more lives. Yeah, I'm not saying this right. Just that we're making a difference in that, like you said, that there has been a change. Even if it's just one, two, three lives, those lives matter so much. I just want you to know that my son spent 72 days in rehab. And this is what happened. He was going to go into sober living, but he met someone in rehab. I couldn't talk him out of it. She flew him home. He lives in, uh, he lived with me up until then. He moved into, uh, moved in with her in Enfield, Connecticut. Called my son shortly after he was home from rehab. I'm out of my mind, of course. You know, two, uh, two, uh, addicts living together. Great. Called Taylor. I said, hey, look. My father died, your grandfather passed away. Uh, the funeral will be sometime next week. You know, really, really want you to be there. Are you gonna be there, Taylor? Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be there, don't worry. Don't worry, Mom. I'm worried, Taylor. You know, he didn't have a license. Like, how are you gonna get there? Don't worry, Mom. I'm gonna be at the funeral. What are you gonna wear, Taylor? Like, you got clothes? Like, this is the mother thing, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, I got, I got clothes. I, I know what I'm gonna wear. I'm like, okay. I said, hey, I said, uh, I love you. I love you too, Mom. I'm so sorry. I said, I'm going to call you tomorrow, okay? Okay, Mom. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Next day, call, 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 text, 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 text. Nothing from Taylor, nothing. Okay. I'm out of my mind. <sighs> that night, he answers the phone. Hey, Mom. Oh boy, I don't like the way you sound, Taylor. Mom, life is good. I go, oh my God, you used. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Mom, don't worry about me. I'm so in love. I have my life ahead of me. I'm so excited. Don't worry about me, Mom. Taylor, you're gonna make that funeral? Don't you worry, Mom, I'll be there. <sighs> Next morning, I'm gonna knock at the door. Two detectives, 9.15 on a Tuesday morning. Hi, the hell are you doing at my door? That's what I'm thinking. Are you Denise Woodward? Yeah, are you Taylor Latman's mom? Yeah, your son overdosed and died this morning. <laughs> you know what? My father died October 16th and I lost my son October 18th. I still can't get over the fact that he made it to the funeral, but it ended up being his funeral. I'm sorry if I don't know, I didn't say anything very hopeful, but you know what, unfortunately that was my story. Thanks.